this is Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Dash Off. This is, a uh, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic fan game by Taris Piskanoff. And you can, this is the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic logo. Sort of, kind of looks like My Kibble Pony Interchable King Look. That is amazingly unreadable. But it's supposed to be all 8-bit, or, you know, some sort of low-resolution thingy. But, it says press start. Um, I wish it just said, like, click here or something. I get that you're going for the, you know, old-school game aesthetic, but there's really no clear thing of what to do. But you can just press space. So, collect as many apples as you can. Uh, pretty sure English is in this first language, so. Yeah, it looks like Russian from the, uh, page I found it on. Um, also, from what I think is his YouTube, um, I'll put links to that, and to the game, and also to the music in the description, so you can find everything in the description. The music is actually from someone on YouTube called Rainbow Crash 88 I believe. So, he does 8-bit remixes of all of the music in the show, and that's pretty much all the music here. Um, so yeah, that's where the music comes from. Right, back to the game. You have only five minutes. Rainbow Dash cannot fly when power is low. The way the flying works in this game is weird, honestly. The graphics look really nice, though. Considering the aesthetic. Collect apples to gain power. Meet friends to gain unlimited power. It's not really unlimited, but for a brief time you can fly a lot. Use the arrow keys to move, press up to fly. X to close help. Um, I'm not really sure why you press X to close help, I mean... It would make sense if just any key closed the help or something. But whatever. You can change the music at any time if you want to waste time. Oh, right. So, interesting thing, the... The turning in this game works really wonky. See, alright, I press right. Press left. You freeze before you start to actually move. So that's sort of annoying. It's actually kind of really annoying. A lot of things in the game prevent you from going forward. They make you stop like that. So you just have to, like, spam the right button to continue moving. Also, that was really weird. No, wait, go back. Okay. So yeah, these walls, these are basically solid walls. But if you keep pressing right, you then go through them. So that is weird. Also, I keep... Yeah, the flying is sort of weird. It makes you go constantly forward. So, alright. These platforms, like, if this is supposed to be a solid wall, this should, like... Um, like, this grass down here, it makes it look like, a, look like this is a platform that I can walk on, and this is a second platform I could jump onto. It just doesn't feel very intuitive that I... This is a solid wall, because of the way the grass makes it look like a solid plane here. So if you could make this into a, more clearly a wall, that would make sense. Also, getting over the walls is a bit awkward because of... You can only fly over it. And flying always makes you go to the right at a set speed. Yay, we have to go to makeover. Yay, makeover. Fun times. But yeah, flying is the only way to go up. Also, when you collect those muffins, you, um... You stop moving. Sometimes you stop moving, and I don't know why. It just, it's really annoying that sometimes you just randomly stop moving to the right when you're on the ground. The ground movement is really awkward, I have to say. Way to go, yay! The flying is fairly fluid, but it's, you know, you're only in one spot. And you constantly go in the same direction. Also, when you stop flying, if you're holding right, you don't continue moving right once you drop to the ground. Also, I can float for some reason. Or this is really shallow water. But yeah, you fly and then you drop to the ground. I'm holding right the whole time, but I don't continue going right. So that would be... It'd be nice if that weren't the case. Party! Yay! Also, if you notice, when you're moving to the right, your hair bounces and you can see... On a certain frame, you can see the outline of her hair twice, and that really bugs me. Now, you can see it on the tail, too. On the purple section here, you can see the blue outline twice. And that just bugs me. Aside from that visual tick, the graphics look really good. Um, except, um, 
you know, this sort of awkwardness with the walls. It's more of a usability thing than pure graphics, though. Come on, y'all! It's a terrible accent. But the way the game works, it really feels like there should be a jump button to jump up on these platforms, and then a separate fly button. It's also sort of odd that flying always makes you go s to the right constantly. It makes getting things on those raised platforms sort of odd. Hey, Twilight. Yeah, you're boring. Also, the way the muffins work is sort of odd, because if, you, if your power is in the over 9,000 state, it doesn't go down. I guess it kind of makes sense. But if you're flying and you hit a muffin... Hey, Derpy! Stop that, please. If you're flying and you hit a muffin, you drop to the ground and you stop moving right. It... It's just really weird that you stop randomly moving right. Also, my score, by the way, is going to be terrible. Because I've just been screwing around most of this time. The first time I played, I got, like, 120 apples, I think. You always have five minutes as, like, a score attack, basically. But, yeah, the transition between flying and walking is the big thing I would, you know, fix. Also, you can't control your altitude while you're flying. You just have to stop flying to drop lower. Which also makes it sort of weird. Especially since when you stop flying... Um, to drop down, you stop going forward, so... The controls are just a bit odd. But other than that, it's pretty fun. The music's also very fitting, obviously. Since they're both trying to be... Not quite 8-bit, just lo-fi. The music is actually 8-bit. At least, I'm pretty sure. The colors obviously aren't for the game, but... Actual 8-bit colors just are ugly, so I kind of support the kind of pixelated but not actually 8-bit sort of look. But it's a neat little game. Three apples in ten seconds flat. And you can share your score if you want to on, uh, I have no idea what the B is. There's Live Journal, Twitter, Facebook. There's an About button. Game based on My Little Pony Friendship is Magic series. Special thanks to Lauren Faust and her awesome team of Friendship is Magic. All bronies from this thread on Pony Chain for great pony models. Rainbow Crash 88 for awesome for fantastic soundtrack. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic is copyright Hasbro. The game's made by Taras Piskinov. 2011. See, so yeah, this probably takes you to a Pony Chan thread that has the, uh, I've seen lots of people do sprite work for the characters in the show, so that's probably where lots of that came from. Yeah, visually I really like it, it's just the control scheme needs some work. Especially in just that... It's just really not consistent in how you move, and it ends up in a jerky experience, and it's fairly frustrating. Hey, Derpy. And that's pretty much all I got to say. Also, this seems sort of like one of those... Uh, this could be one of those games where, you know, you're constantly running to the right, and, you know, you just jump and stuff to get items. In fact, I'm not particularly sure why you can even walk to the left. But when you do, it's really awkward, by the way. It's just that turning... When I'm holding the right... When I play this game, I always hold right the whole time, because, you know, I always want to be moving forward. It just does not read that for... crap. I do also like that some of the trees are in the foreground and some are in the background. It's neat. See, like there. Tree in the foreground. Tree in the background. It's a neat little tiny touch. I flourish a... Yay. But yeah, this is Dash Off by Taras Tishkinov. And all the relevant links are in the description. And it's a fairly fun game. The controls are really the only thing that needs some work, and the... This... just feels weird still. Yeah, I like the inclusion of the other characters and the... the sprite work. Sounds like it was already done, but it's still very nice and fitting. Also sort of weird when you eat the poison... Um, muffin things. You get this box over your head, like, I, I know this is like the anime symbol for Ono's or something, but the black box 
just makes it look a little weird. I'm thinking this is like the dialog box, and he's just using the dialog box to display that, but it'd be nice if it was just displayed without the box. But it's a very nice effort. And I'd like to see either, whoa, that will help, um, a more fleshed out version, or a, uh, or just the controls correct, it would be nice too. But yeah, it's a very nice game. I'm kind of surprised I went 10 minutes on it. But yeah, thanks for watching.